Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the um, Mokito 2 limitations in terms of the methods that you cannot uh, mock. Um, as well as, you know, obviously a lot of stuff that Mokito 2 supports. So. so the first thing is you cannot mock static methods. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, another library uh, called Power Mokito that enables you to do that if you wish to do that. You cannot mock constructors, you cannot mock the object equals and the object hash code methods. And finally, you cannot mock final nor private methods. So I've got here a, um, in this simple uh, test class, a bunch of uh, inner types to, that, you know, basically to demonstrate the limitations as well as, you know, things that we can actually do. So I've got here a final class, which has a, f uh, a full method. So let's basically uh, try to mock this class and see what we get. So I've got here test final class, and essentially, uh, as you see, what I'm doing is I'm just basically trying to mock this class. And, um, you know, this is not possible. You cannot mock a final method, or I should say here, slash type. So if you have a final class uh, and you're trying to mock it, that does not work. So if I try to run this method, then <coughs> it actually passed because I am... Uh, um, so an exception is actually thrown here, and the exception is an Amokito exception, um, you know, because you can't really mock uh, this uh, final class. So um, the um, other example is an um, abstract class. So basically, you can mock abstract classes um, either with a concrete method or an abstract method in this case. And, uh, you know, basically I have here an example where I am mocking the class and I am actually uh, verifying, um, you know, the behavior on um, uh, a concrete method here and I am stubbing the um, abstract method. So this is, uh, this should work because this is perfectly uh, valid in uh, JUnit, uh, sorry, in Mokito 2. So notice that this thing passed. Uh, because you know this is perfectly okay. So the other example is say you have a concrete class that has an instance method, a final method, a static method and a private method. So as I mentioned or uh, you know on the Java doc for this uh, example initially you cannot mock static nor private methods. So let's go to the example of concrete class and um, so firstly let me just see so I'm, I'm mocking the concrete class and then I'm trying to verify the behavior on the instance method final method private method so let's just uncomment this and let's run and see what we get okay so you can see as you see it actually doesn't work because I'm trying to mock a final uh, sorry, I'm trying to verify the behavior on a, on a final method. And if you look at the uh, error message, it's pretty descriptive here, right? It actually says you can't do that because, you know, final private equals an hash code methods cannot be stubbed nor verified. So I can't do this on a final method nor to a private method. So if I now rerun this, then uh, it should pass, okay? So we looked at the final class example that we cannot uh, mock. We look at an abstract class where it's perfectly fine to mock and to stub a uh, concrete method or abstract method. We look at a concrete class where, you know, we can um, stub or verify a concrete method or an instance method, I should say, but none of these methods we can verify because it's final, static, and private. And what about an interface? So obviously in Java 8 and, and, and greater, we can have default methods or static methods. 
and obviously as you can imagine we cannot um, stub or verify uh, a static method on interface but you know a um, abstract method or a default method you know are perfectly supported so let's go to our interface example here and as you can see I'm marking the interface and then I am verifying the behavior on a, on the default method and the abstract method so this should be perfectly fine because it's supported okay so initially I mentioned that if you want to um, mock static methods Mockito 2 does not support it but I, I did say that there is a a library that does allow you to do that which is called power um, Mokito. so before I actually show you the example let me show you the configuration that you need for um, power Mokito. so on the gradle uh, on build.gradle you basically need to add these two uh, dependencies here so you need to add the uh, uh, power mock API Mokito 2 and a module uh, JUnit 4. Um, so one thing I should say is um, I did. I'm going to put a link below on the video that I described how to add the dependencies for um, JUnit 5 and Hamcrest. So, but basically, these are the uh, full set of um, dependencies that you need to be configured in Gradle in order to use JUnit 5 with Hamcrest and Mokito Core. And like I said, I just added these two. Uh, dependencies because I want to show you how you can actually um, verify or stub a static method so basically this is the example here so what you need to do is you basically have to use the power mock runner um, on top of uh, Mokito core and um, every class that contains so recall that this class that I'm trying to mock is the class that contains the static method that I'm interested in. so for every class that contains a static method that you're trying to uh, verify or stub then you need to uh, annotate it here with prepare for test and then on your test method you actually have to call verify static on the concrete class before you actually call the static method okay so let's uh, run this and see what we get. So just one thing I'd like to mention. Notice that this is different than the order is different than when you are, um, you know, verifying uh, behavior in Mokito. So in Mokito, if you recall here, we first, um, you know, call the method and then we verify that it actually got called, whereas in power Mokito, we actually verify first and then we call the method okay and you have to do this for each and every invocation okay so this concludes the lesson on um, the Mokito 2 limitations and uh, you know all of the, an overview of all of the types and methods that you do you can actually um, you know verify and stub this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com thanks for watching